Hey all, Tony Bing here, hello and welcome to a new video guide series for Skyforge. So with this series of videos, we will have a look at the 15 different classes that are available in the game because it can take quite a bit of time to farm those sparks of transformation. So when you do eventually cash them in, you want to make sure you use them on the right class. So in this video, we will have a look at their default and max level costume. The reason for that is once you hit a certain level, you unlock that costume for all classes. We'll then check out their skills, so we'll have some gameplay and we'll have a look at their tool tips that break down how the skill actually works and then at the end of the video we have some gameplay as well. Now if you do want to jump to any particular section, check out the description of this video and there will be hyperlinks there. And for this first guide video we will be having a look at the Outlaw, it's a personal favourite of mine this class. It is relatively simple to play but despite that it's highly mobile and it can do an absolute ton of damage to both single target and mobs as well. So first off, let's have a very quick look at the costumes available for this class. So we have the default costume first, then this is your classic gunslinger look with the duster jacket and the hat. This is really pretty great looking. We then have the noir look and this is the one that's unlocked at max level. So you've got the scarf, you've got the robot head, really pretty different but I do like this one as well. We start off here then looking at the main spender for the outlaw, this is volley fire, it's a simple enough attack, you will notice it applies something called tracer and we'll actually look at that a bit more later on in this video, slows down the enemies and it has a 6% chance to apply firecracker and that allows you to throw your dancing grenade with additional damage and without it costing any resource as well. We then look at the finisher for the outlaw, this is last shot, it looks absolutely fantastic and on top of that it will fully restore your energy so that's really important because when you're running around and gunning down all the enemies with the outlaw you will regularly run out of resource so make sure you use this whenever you do get the chance. Next up we have a look at the Outlaws 1 defensive skill but it is pretty great, this is combat readiness so when you dash two times in a row you actually gain 70% damage mitigation for 6 seconds and top of this your dash can also be used as a crowd control breaker as well but it does have a 20 second cooldown on that. For the next skill we have one we'll be using very often, this is dancing grenade, so you throw a grenade out bounces all over the screen, explodes if it hits an enemy or shortly afterwards. Now you want to be close to the enemy because it can be a little bit random how it bounces around. Now you'll notice on the tooltip as well it mentions when you use the next skill we'll be looking at, lead carousel, you actually throw out five of these grenades as well but they do reduce damage. But let's have a look at the next skill which is lead carousel. So this skill here really is fantastic, the animation looks great but it's also one that allows Outlaw to be incredibly mobile and it actually makes him one of the best farming characters in the game. Once you're higher level and this can take out most of the trash, you can simply sip through levels to complete directives, it really is fantastic. And as mentioned, it also has the added benefit of interacting with dancing grenades. So you jump in amongst a group of enemies, if lead carousel hasn't taken them down, then your dancing grenades, 9 times out of 10, most certainly will. Now the next skill we have here is one that could be easy to overlook, but it's actually really important if you use it correctly. This is Sure Shot, it's a single target skill. Now it ties in with Tracer, which is something we talked about at the start of the video, and I'll highlight it on your actual bar. So you can see that building up, you can get up to 16 stacks of Tracer. Once you have that, you gain 10% damage for each level of that, so that's a bonus, 160% damage when you use that particular skill which is really incredible. Now on top of that, if that wasn't great enough, after actually using Sure Shot, if you dash forward or backwards you get an additional skill you can use for free. So if you dash forward you'll get a skill called Dodge That, if you dash back you get a skill called Rapid Shower. Now on top of this, when you do this it will activate something called Impulse Charge, so with this the damage of the attack you're using, that's Dodge That or Rapid Shower, is increased three times if the target is affected by Sure Shot and it will be because you've used it just a second before 
and it will also slow down the target for 3 seconds as well and it's a 90% slow so that really is pretty great. This next skill we're looking at here is one that actually changes our stance so we switch over to dual stance now with this we gain left and right revolver shot and we also gain a skill called the quick and the dead and we'll look at that first so this is great for taking out trash with this particular one you'll damage up to 6 enemies in a 40 yard radius and you can see the targeting reticle over the enemy when you use this skill and this is a skill that without a doubt you want to use it on trash rather than single targets. Now for single target you actually want to use their left and right revolver skills so it's exceptionally important you do alternate these two skills because when you do it your final shot will do 10 times more damage which can really be pretty great. The final skill we'll look at here is one that I'll always refer to as the ultimate skill due to my love of Marvel Heroes. This is the type of skill that it is. This is Fire Frenzy. It's got a 40 second cooldown which is pretty low compared to some of the other characters and their skills of this nature. It replaces Volley Fire with Fire Frenzy. Now this will do a huge amount of damage on both single targets and also trash. On top of this, the duration of the skill is actually increased as you beat enemies. So it's increased by 2 second per enemy up to a maximum of 16 seconds and while you're leveling this skill gains a passive called explosive star that converts it from a single target skill into an area of effect skill so this is really incredible. So with the final skill covered that's us almost at the end of a first beginner's guide for skyforge now as mentioned uh, Outlaws is an absolutely fantastic class it's one of the most popular classes in the game I'm sure after watching this preview you can see why now I do hope the video was useful and there's perhaps little small elements of the outlaw that you maybe missed on the first pass that you've picked up on and will help you play even better with them or if you're looking for your next class unlock this will help you out as well. So as to the next class I'll cover I've not actually decided yet so feel free to let me know in the comments below if there's any particular class you would like me to cover and really as always thanks for tuning in, enjoy this gameplay and I'll see you all again soon.